Cass, what's up? Good. How you doing? Good to see you. Good man. to see you too, brother. So, how are you doing, man? Good. How y'all doing? Uh, well, then, well, let's go ahead and get started today. Um, first question is going to come from Farbod. Hey, Paul, uh, what did it mean to you when you saw guys like Danny Green uh, coming to support after, you know, what you said about dealing with depression in the bubble? Um, I mean, we all dealing with it. Um, you know, whether I was the first to say it or not, we all dealing with it. I had conversations with guys here and um, it's been a couple guys that, you know, it's like, man, I'm happy I'm not the only one. Uh, I've been dealing with this too. Like, it's, it's, it's a thing in here. And, um, you know, it's, it's, it's a brotherhood. Danny got my back, I got his. Uh, we support one another. Okay, let's move on. Let's go to uh, home next. <laughs> Hey, Jake, uh, good to see you. I was wondering, uh, what was Wednesday night to Thursday, your, the emotions of you and the team like from perhaps deciding not to play on Wednesday night to deciding, okay, we are playing again. What was that like for the 24 hours? I mean, we just wanted to be on the same page um, with everything that's going on, not only inside the bubble, but outside the bubble. That's where our take was, was coming from. Um, we're obviously fully committed to win a championship here, um, but we just want everything to be basically on the same page with everything else um, and everything to pretty much fall in line with what's going on, like I said, inside and outside of the bubble. Let's take a few questions from Orlando. Uh, next question is going to come from Cassidy. PG, Doc um, said he, something that he learned from this weekend was that you know he underestimated how much this was affecting you guys, but also given just his prominence mm -hmm. through this last week and your conversations that you had with him, how would you describe the impact he's had on not just your team, but the league as a whole over these last couple of days? Um, I think, you know, Doc just presence here um, from being, uh, you know, a successful black man. Um, and, you know, I, I've said it, multiple times like he's 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 our coach but he gives like a father figure presence as well and um i think he gave almost if not one of the biggest advices and perspectives for us um to continue this fight not only to win a championship but to continue to fight with what's going on um with you know police brutality brutality um the outside world the social economic i mean just a whole line of, of stuff that he talked to us about. And he does that. I mean, he's been doing that since I've been here um, from start to finish, from when I first got here to now. He's always, you know, chipped in something um, that we can walk away and take with us. Um, so I think his just the combos with him, you know, him just expressing, you know, what he's been through. Um, it's, it's been very helpful um, just to get through things and, and to know you know, we have a leader like that on our side. Uh, it, just, it means a lot to this team. Obviously, the league came together as mm -hmm. a whole, but do you feel like this experience has brought this team even closer together? Absolutely, absolutely. Um, because I mean, this is a roller coaster. You know, it's it's, it's a roller coaster being in here. Um, so all of us are riding this wave together, um, and you know, it's it's an experience we we'll all take away from it. Um, but you know, we we definitely got closer. I mean, we had to spend two days of talking and having, you know, uncomfortable conversations. And, um, you know, you, you got to see different guys' point of views and, and different guys' interests. And um, it was just a lot laid out on the table that the whole team kind of talked about. So uh, we definitely got closer. Okay, uh, next question is going to come from Cameron. Is that hey, in the PG. bubble? No. Um, my question for you, would you share your thoughts on kind of you guys made your decision as a, as a group, as a collective in the NBA, and then you see the Major League Baseball follow suit, MLS, the NFL a couple days later decided that they're going to um, cancel their practice. You guys being the leaders in, in, in the sports world, talk about that a little bit. Um, well, I think it's great, you know. I think it's great. Um, we got great leaders in the NBA. Um, and it's 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 great um, 
you know, we, we got to hold ourselves accountable. I think that's first and foremost. We have to do the right things um, and take actions on what we're preaching. Um, but, you know, it's, it's great just to have the support of all the other sports around us, all the other leagues around us. Um, but, you know, we can't just talk to talk. We got to walk to walk. So, um, you know, it's it's everyone's on the same page. And that's at the end of the day what we want to get to. Um, everybody moving at once, all sports worlds moving at once. And, uh, you know, it's it's it starts with us. And, um, you know, it's like I said, it's great to have the support around all the other leagues to, to kind of back us up and move with us. Um, everybody wants to make the change. And uh, it's, it's great that we're the ones leading it. We got two questions coming from Orlando. We're going to go with Kyle first and then Mark Spears second. Hey, um, you know, you talked about how you guys want to make the decision as a team um, and what you want to do in terms of continuing to play. Obviously, you had personal feelings even before that came up of, like, maybe this isn't the best place for me. How do you kind of balance those concerns, sort of doing what's best for the team versus maybe what you're feeling on the inside? And, and could you, is there a conversation that you had maybe with a teammate that you could share with us that maybe swayed you to, to be here? Um, well, I think uh, first it was I'm, I'm, I wasn't just going to cave in um, immediately. Like if it got severe, um, I think my team would have understood if I needed to walk away from this. Um, but, you know, all it took was me seeking help and, and seeking advice and um, starting from there. Um, it helped. It put me in a different place. Um, and I mean, that's where the decision was made that I can continue to keep going uh, because of the help that I got. Um, so, I mean, that's that's just where it started. Um, and I mean, it was it was just great advice all around. You know, everyone telling me, you know, they feel the same way. Um, just continue to be me, play my game. Um, you know, all of that helped um, and just, you know, their views and perspective and, and, and you know, the way they view me, um, you know, kind of just changed my whole spirits. Uh, so again, that's just where it started. And is that what that says stay PG on your shoes? Is that what that is about? Yep. Just a quick this reminder. This one's going to come from Mark inside Orlando. Sorry. Yeah, just um, not getting too personal to you, but I know you guys have two people back in LA that could help. I don't know if any of them are in the bubble. Do you feel like there's adequate help if you wanted it um, from a psychiatrist standpoint to reach out to here? You know, on our app, it asks us at the end, do you, you know? Yeah, yeah, no, we, we do have, um, we have someone on site, um, not with our team, but with the NBA. Uh, there's someone on site, but that's not who I used. I used our people back in LA. Um, and, and, you know, that was all I needed. So um, going forward, I think that's who you know, will still be in my corner and I, who I'll, you know, kind of stay close with. It's good. Thanks, Thanks y'all. Appreciate y'all.